Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa, and it is week three of the She's Crafty mini paper pad series. And so I thought before we start the layout, I will just show you what I pulled together and the mini pad or six by six, or in my case, six by eight that I'm using. And I'll just go through this really quick and then we'll put the layout together. So I started with the Horizons six by eight. And I just went ahead and I've done some of the prep work before so that the process video won't take forever. And so these are where all my, my pattern papers are gonna come from. And so I went through and I chose all of these different patterns to use for those little squares that you will see in the sketch that I will post and it will show with the layout as we create it. So I'm using these papers for all of those little squares, as well as I pulled these two pieces here. I'm gonna map my photo with those. And then these two pattern papers, I fussy cut some of the butterflies or moths off this, as well as took a few of these cut aparts for the page. So those things I did prep beforehand. And so, I wanted to show you that. So here are the little squares. I've pulled some florals. This I fussy cut off of that cut apart sheet. So here are the, some florals. There's some of those fussy cut little moths and butterflies. I pulled some washi or yeah, I think it's kind of, it's kind of like washi tape. This was another from that cut apart sheet. I have some wood veneer butterflies and flowers. I pulled some really fun sequins. Those will be my enamel dots for this page. Get this out of the way. I have this photo of my daughter and that's what I will be scrapping. So again, more of the... I have these puffy stickers from Dear Lizzie. I have two stamps that I think I'm going to use on this page. This one here is a Prima stamp and then I have this one here from The Ton. I have two uh, shimmers. Ooh, I'm dropping things. I have an Inklings in Plum Crazy and Creamies in Purple Rain. So I'm going for sort of the purpley side. We'll see if I pull anything else as we create the layout. I have these stickers from Happy Hooray, and I think these went with an Amy Tan collection, so I have these. I have the Horizon sticker sheet. I have a Dear Lizzie sticker sheet, and I'm not sure what collection this was from, but I think this was from like last summer's collection, probably, but again, not sure. I also have these stickers from Other Half. They were called Other Half, so I'm going to be using those. I have another uh, strip of washi tape. These are, this is from Jelly Bean Soup, I believe, and I may cut these apart to use on the layout. I have these alpha stickers that I printed on sticker paper. These are from Nicole Jones. So I have these to help complete my title. I have a piece of basil white marshmallow cardstock and a piece of purple cardstock. Now I know for the class that she wants us to just choose one 12 by 12, but because I frame my layouts with a piece of cardstock typically, I always pick two because really I don't really count this background one because you really only see about that much of it once I have framed my layout. So I, I count this one. So it's usually this, whether it's a solid or a pattern paper. So this is what I'm going to play with. And now I'm going to start the process video, speed everything up, show you the sketch, and we will put this layout together. So I will catch you in just a minute. 
Okay guys, the first thing we are going to do is create our background for this one. So we're going to do a little bit of the packaging technique with these shimmers. I did go ahead and add a pink, I think it was bubblegum blast or something along that line. So I'm going to go ahead and use the packaging technique and combine these three uh, colors together in sort of the diagonal design on this white cardstock and they have sort of a splatter design on the layout except it's going in the sort of opposite diagonal direction so I'm still kind of keeping with the sketch this this lay whole layout stays pretty close to that sketch or, so I don't I don't veer too far off of it so here you see I've just put down my first color and then I've taken this slightly darker uh, purple color and then I'm going to come in with some of the pink very simple technique this is the marshmallow cardstock so it can take a bit more water even though I'm not using a ton of water so it doesn't really warp all that much because it is a thicker cardstock and I did not gesso the background so I'm definitely not getting the color being able to move around a whole lot it is you know soaking into the paper uh, the good thing is it doesn't warp, but the bad thing with not using gesso is it doesn't allow me to move the color around too much. So basically where it lands is pretty much where it's going to stay, but I'm okay with that. A lot of this is going to get covered up, and so I am good with just getting some color on the background. Now I'm just taking those three colors and I'm just watering them down a little bit and just adding some splatters on the background again just to add in a bit more interest and some additional color and splatters to kind of pull everything together. I, the next thing I want to do here is let that go ahead and dry. So I did shut the camera off and step away till it dried because I was not completely finished with the background. This is where the stamps are going to come out and I'm going to take this Prima Tech stamp and I'm going to stamp it and then stamp it again without re-inking. I'm going to do that a couple of times all the way down the line that I have the mixed media on. And so I'm keeping to sort of that diagonal, but I'm kind of going, you know, on the, the two outsides too. So it kind of, it's not going to be the whole page, but I'm definitely bringing it out a out through the sides so that it'll be seen on the background. Now the other thing I'm going to do is take this uh, stamp from the ton and on it it had all these little tiny circles and so I just grouped there's three stamps in total here and I just grouped them on my block and I'm just going to go ahead here and stamp just some random little spots turning the stamp so that the circles are in different orientations and I'm just going to stamp that down the diagonal and then I take the very smallest little set of three tiny dots and I'm just going to dot that around so again I'm just adding some layer upon layer to the background so it gives it a whole lot of interest and I love the way that this turns out that was, I believe, the Sangria uh, Catherine Pooler ink that I was using. I think you saw that at the beginning. So now my background is finally done, and I'm going to go ahead here and take the pattern papers that I showed at the beginning of the video, and I'm going to first start, start by layering up those two pieces that I pulled to map my photo and then I think about putting in this green but I believe I take it out I don't think that stays so next thing that I'm going to do for the layout and this is of course in keeping with the sketch are all of the squares and so here is where at first I'm thinking I'm going to flip it and have my squares going the opposite direction. So instead of going vertically, they're going to go horizontal. And this is how I think it's going to go with all of these different patterns. And I kind of 
lay everything out and play with this idea a little bit. So you're going to kind of see me go down this road and I cannot remember. This layout took me a little while. I, it was a lot of stopping and starting for me on this one just because of, well, life and just interruptions and things like that. And so I can't remember if I end up changing it off camera or if I do it on camera. So we're going to kind of see how whether or not I actually get it on video. But as you can see, I am, I'm going to have my embellishments on a diagonal. So I'm laying everything out so you can see, this is how in my head I'm, a, I'm thinking this layout's gonna go. And there's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this design. I, it actually looks really good watching it back on camera. I think in my head, I was feeling like it was too busy and I just wasn't in love with it. And looking at it now, it's actually not that bad. It's definitely busy, um, but it, it actually doesn't look that bad. So here you see, I'm just pulling out, I've got my florals in there. I'm pulling out the sticker sheets that I pulled and showed at the beginning of the video. I am just dotting around the bits and pieces that I knew I wanted to use off of those sticker sheets. And so that's what you see me doing here. I'm kind of just going through. So all of the pieces that I'm pulling, I do ultimately end up using them. However, you're going to see here in just a second that the design does change. And there you see it. I didn't think I did it on camera. I was pretty sure that I had gotten interrupted. And then when I came back, I did it off camera. But now you can see I have gone and done it in the vertical and I like this much better. And so I'm pretty happy with the design now. And the other thing that I decided to do was I decided to keep the pattern papers that I was going to use for the squares down to three or I guess this in, in this case, four different patterns. And this made it less busy. And so I really like how it looks now that I've kind of pared down what I was going to use. I'm still using up a lot of, you know, of the paper pad with these different patterns, but I definitely have sort of pared it down. So once I have that, and this is working better for what I want for the background, I'm now going back and building my clusters. So now, because of this new design, rather than going on a diagonal for my clusters, I'm now going to go in a sort of visual triangle with my embellishing. So I have one that is going to go just below the title. Over to the right, I have this second cluster that I'm working on now that's going to go in sort of the top, or I guess it could you could say the middle top of the layout. And then I have the third cluster that's going to go here to the top left corner of the photo. And I like how the embellishment cluster really draws you into the picture and the title. And so I'm kind of just playing around with all of those bits and pieces that you saw me pull originally. And I'm just building out each of the clusters and I'm grounding each of the clusters, as you can see here, with a piece of that foiled, it's kind of like a washi tape. And I am going ahead and putting that to kind of give a, a grounding spot for each of my clusters and for my title to sit on it as well. So I did go off camera and glued everything down and now it's just a matter of finishing touches. So I have the puffy stickers from that Dear Lizzie sticker sheet and I'm just taking one and putting it in each cluster so that I kind of get a bit of a different texture in addition to the stickers and the sort of paper die cuts that I'm using. The finishing touch for this one, like I said, in the video at the beginning, I pulled out these sequins and they are sparkly and iridescent. And I am just going to dot those around the layout. I put lots of them in each cluster. It's not like sort of like enamel dots where I just do three. I dotted them just around the entire page around the embellishment clusters themselves. And so with that, these are the still photos. And guys, I will have links for everyone else who's playing along with Shannon's 
paper pad series that she is doing. And so with that one, guys, I will catch you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.